Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is August 30th. It is 7 o'clock at night. Uh, tomorrow is one week since my dad has passed and it's crazy because it literally feels like years ago and it's only been a week. So it's just been like, it's been difficult. I have my moments, but I'm just trying to get back to normal. I'm just trying to you know do things to keep me busy and that keep me happy so vlogging is one of those things and today i went and had a girls day with my friend we went to the tanger outlet mall and did some shopping so i figured i would start this vlog off with a little bit of a haul so let me go get my bags yeah and today i've also posted a picture of my outfit that i'm wearing just like this little black sweater with like these black jeans and i posted a johnny cash quote underneath it like about how you can't wear black it looks like you're going to a funeral maybe i am da 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 i quickly realized that was the wrong quote to put under that picture because everyone assumed that i was going to like my dad's funeral wearing this like no like if you watch my last vlog my dad is not having a funeral he is just being cremated so i did not go to a funeral funeral dress like this just a little heads up i was just posting a picture of my outfit and that quote just happened to fit so anyway moving on from that i went to two places i went to bath and body works because it is officially a fall candle season and i also went to american eagle as well so i'll show you what i got from american eagle first so i just got another pair of pants for work they are just the black jeans and i just needed to get another pair for work just because like all my other ones started to rip in like the crotch area so just to be safe i picked up another pair they're just like plain plain black jeans and this is the double zero i'm that skinny um i'm not bragging or anything it's just it's kind of annoying how skinny i am um the double zero short and these are the super stretch kick boot jeans i guess I don't know short mid-rise i don't really know so that's everything that i got in american eagle nothing too exciting i was gonna get two pairs of jeans but i was gonna do like the buy one get one 50 percent off sale and their jeans are like 50 dollars so half off another pair would be like 25 or whatever and when i rung up the two pairs my total still came to like 90 dollars so that was not right to me. I'm pretty sure the cashier fucked something up, but I was not about to spend $90 for two pairs of jeans. That's just not how I roll. Um, so I just decided just to go with the black ones and I spent uh, $33 on the jeans, which is much more appropriate, I guess you could call it. So yeah, that's everything that I got there. And then I went ham sandwich at Bath and Body Works because I love their fall candles. They are my ultimate favorites. So the first one that I got is one that I saw last year that I really wanted and really wanted to get, but I never did. And this is the peppered suede. So first of all, the packaging is super, super cute. And the notes of this one are Everescent bergamot, black peppercorn, and soft amber wood. Oh, and I just love the way this smells. This smells just smells like a very very strong like cologne scent so I really liked that one and the tops of these are so cute they say love fall on the top I don't know I absolutely love it so that's the first one the second one I got is of course a classic and this one is a flannel and the packaging is red flannel how perfect is that you can't get any more perfect than that oh this one again it's a fall classic I absolutely love this I get this one every year the third one I got is this one, which I've never actually tried before. And this one is Autumn Woods. So for this one, it is dark walnut, English lavender, and white amber. Not too, too crazy about this, but again, I smell the lavender in it and it makes me like really like it. The fourth one, see one, two, three. Yeah, I got five. The fourth one, you have to have this during the fall time this is the pumpkin patch and just look how cute the packaging is just like all little pumpkins i love it so much and this top is different it has like a little checkered pattern and this one it is bright orange pumpkin autumn spice blend and rich molasses and this one is like 
it just smells so much like fall. Like this is definitely gonna be an October candle for sure. So all the other ones I feel like I can start burning in like September, but the pumpkin patch is definitely gonna be saved for October. And then the very last one I got is one of my all time favorite fall scents from Bath and Body Works. And that is of course, sweater weather. I got this when I first moved into this apartment three years ago, which is crazy to think about, and I hated it. I did not like the smell of it, but ever since then, every year, I always get sweater weather, and the smell has really grown on me. I really like it. Oh, it just it just smells so, so good. I love it. The notes for this one are fresh sage, juniper berry, a aromatic eucalyptus and fresh wood. So this one has definitely grown on me and it has definitely become a favorite scent of mine. But I think now I am going to watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I've started from the first season and I think I'm on season eight now. Um, just to like get caught up and I do that sometimes, like I'll go and watch like old TV shows just to like keep me busy. So yeah, I've been doing that. So I think I'm going to just turn that on right now and just kind of chill and relax and put my candles away. And yeah, so that is the start of this vlog. I don't know what else I'm going to vlog, but we shall see. And I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Okay, bye. I realized maybe I should be mature. Welcome back. It is August 31st, Friday. It is about five minutes to 12 o'clock. I'm actually on my way to my mom's house because I got a phone call this morning to let me know that my dad's ashes were ready. So I am meeting my family at my mom's house and we are going to pick up my dad's ashes and I'm going to bring him home. My landlord has been here. That's her car right there. Um, She's been here every single day showing the apartment to people and not just any apartment, my dad's apartment that he's had for nine years. So um, it's been difficult, so I'm kind of anxious to leave. So um, I will vlog once I get to my mom's because I have other errands to run first and I don't really wanna have my camera sitting on here. Then I have to take it on and then off and then on and off. So yeah, I'll just vlog when I get to my mom's house. I just kinda wanted to open up the new day with what I'm doing, so. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Today is September 1st. I can't even believe, well, oh, summer's over, <laughs> pretty much. As soon as like it hits like September, I'm just like, woo, summer's over, yay. So uh, yesterday was a crazy emotional day. I picked up my dad's ashes, as you guys saw, and my dad is home with me now. So it just, it feels really good. It's very calming now because before it was just so stressful knowing that he was just sitting in a crematorium somewhere. But now that he is home with me and I have his ashes, I feel, I just feel so much better. So it is about 3.15 right now. And uh, I've just been 
I've been trying to, you know, just clean up my house a little bit. I was up to like 4 a.m. last night doing laundry just because I couldn't sleep because last night turned into a very hectic, um, very hectic night. I'm not going to go into details, but it was just like, oh, it was, it was not a good night. But, um, yeah, so I've just been vacuuming today. I finished all my laundry, uh, dishes are done. So I'm just sitting here relaxing and I got a package in the mail from Ulta and I figured I would unbox it on camera for you guys because this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collaboration for the vault collection. I wasn't that interested in like the palettes or the colors or anything, but there was one that I really did like and I ordered that one because every time I went into an Ulta store, they never had them in stock. Even when they just got their truck in, they were never in stock. So I was just like, fuck this noise. I'm not gonna keep driving 45 minutes to an Ulta store to look. So I'm just gonna order it online. So I did order it from Ulta. I did not order it from Morphe. I did hear a lot of negative reviews about, about ordering these palettes off of Ulta because a lot of people are getting bad quality palettes from Ulta as opposed to the Morphe store. So. Um, yeah, we're just, we're going to play with this palette. I will do like a full video on it. I'm not a huge fan of Jaclyn Hill. I am subscribed to her here on YouTube. I do watch her videos, but her as a person, I'm not a huge fan of, but I do really like Morphe eyeshadows. The first Jaclyn Hill palette that she did with them is absolutely amazing. I love it. So I just kind of wanted to get this palette and see if they compare and kind of see what my review is coming from like an everyday person because a lot of people have been saying negative things about it. So I just wanted to get it for myself. Uh, I will go into more in depth about my thoughts on Jaclyn Hill when I do this video, but I'll, so I'll just save that for there. When I open the box, here's what it looks like on the inside. So a very big box for such a small palette. I don't understand. Oh, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. So here is what the outside of the packaging looks like. It just says Morphe Jaclyn Hill, and I got the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And there's what the back of it looks like. There is the, there's the girl herself and her signature and all that. So yeah, I'm very curious. I really do like the packaging. I like the box. And let's see, I just have my receipt in here. And then when you take the palette out, it is all nicely wrapped in bubble wrap, which I do really like. So here's what the actual palette looks like. It's actually very, very compact. I really like it. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. Ta -da! Okay, so here is what the palette looks like. It looks like we have like a little film over top. Okay. So there's what it looks like. There are what the pan sizes are. First impressions. Uh, it looks more inviting and it looks more like boom, like wow, gorgeous on the website than it does in person. I don't know. I feel like in person, the colors are just a lot more muted. And I mean, it could be the lighting. I'm not really sure, but the colors just look a lot more muted here than they do on the website. So I like that it has a little mirror in here. Uh, cause I know that was the big complaint with the Jaclyn Hill palette is there wasn't a mirror in there. So I know Jaclyn Hill did a makeup look using this palette and I kind of want to create the same makeup look to see if I can get the colors to look like how she got them to look because I know there's like a lot of like conspiracy theories of things going on with the background of these palettes and how they were manufactured and pressed and just all that drama. So I'm very curious to see how these are going to perform for me. But I think just for shits and giggles, just for this vlog, I am going to swatch a few of them. So I'm going to swatch this one right here, which is coin. And then here's just a up close view of what this palette looks like. So I'm just gonna take my finger like this. I'm just going to one, two, three. Oh, okay. So very soft, very buttery for the metallic glitter shades. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand. Okay, so there definitely is pigment there. I don't know what other people were talking about, but it's very, very smooth, very pigmented really good color payoff. I feel like if you got this color wet and put it on the lid, you would have a look right there. So very curious to see about the mattes though, because I know a lot of people had some things to say about the matte shadows. So I'm going to swatch 
Access next, which is this yellow shade. Fun fact, these kind of like yellow mustardy colors are some of my all time favorite colors to wear in my crease. I don't know if any of you knew that, but that's just like what I really like. So again, I'm gonna take this finger now, clean finger. I'm going to one, two, three. Okay, so there definitely is pigment. They are still, they are very buttery. I don't know how they'll pick up on like an eyeshadow brush, but so far that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna swatch that right next to coin. Oh, wow. <sighs> okay, so I was pressing pretty hard. I'm just like wiping the excess off of my receipt. Uh, so I don't know, that one didn't wow me. It definitely looks a lot better in the pan. Um, I'm now going to swatch Top Secret, which is this kind of like dark forest green down here. And again, taking a clean finger, one, two, three. Okay, so again, it looks really well. When I am swatching them on my finger, I am putting a little bit of pressure. I'm not like digging my finger in, but I'm putting just a little bit of pressure. And then when I swatch, I am pressing down and dragging. Okay, so I mean, it's, it's workable for someone like me. I mean, I'm not like a makeup artist and I'm not like part of the beauty community, but so I mean, for me, I can work with this and I'm taking a little bit more and it definitely is buildable. There are a few, I can definitely see what people are talking about as far as like the patchiness and you know, the, the blending and things like that. So I'm gonna take this like dark burgundy purplish plum color, which is called Prowl. I'm gonna do the same thing. So that's what that looks like. And I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay, so that one's really good. I mean, it's not like perfect, but I'm sure if you blend it a little. Okay, so that one's really good. I really like that one. I will definitely have to film with this soon and so you guys can kind of know more thoughts on, on this palette. But these were only $15. And then I think since I bought it online with shipping and everything, I paid like 22 or something like that. Just wanted to share that with you. And now I am going to lay down for a little bit because I was up really, really late last night doing laundry. So, so I'm just gonna take a breather and I will talk to you guys in the next clip. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> Welcome back. It is Wednesday, September 5th today, and it is about 5.30 at night, something something around there, 5.30 at night. I worked this morning, I took a nap, and I had a little bit of dinner, and uh, now I'm talking to you guys. So in the last clip that you guys saw uh, yesterday, uh, me and my sister went and got tattoos those tattoos were in honor of my dad and brooke got she posted one on her instagram she got a tattoo like in this this area right here and she got a little saying that her and my dad had and then i got a saying that my dad always said that i really really liked and i got that tattooed on me i got the entire tattoo in his handwriting you guys are probably like well let's see it like what does it look like what does it say whatever um you can probably tell what it says in like the tattoo clips but i'm actually not going to be showing the tattoo and i'm not going to be posting a picture of it and i'm sure many of you are probably wondering why my reasoning for you know not wanting to post that tattoo is because that tattoo is something that is very important to me it is something that is very close to my heart and i just have such a fear that if i post it on my instagram or my youtube channel i just have such a fear that some fucked up stupid ass 
bitch is going to steal it. Not saying that like, you know, that saying is that like remarkable, but to me it's something that is like so incredibly like special to me and close to me that I'm just, I'm so afraid someone out there is going to take it and steal it and post a picture of it just to get back. And I don't like, I don't know. I just have a lot of like irrational thoughts about it in my head, but I have made the decision that I am actually not going to be showing you guys what the tattoo looks like. I love the way it turned out. Like it's so, it's so incredibly perfect. It literally looks like my dad wrote on me with a pen and it's, it's like permanently, like it's like permanently there now. It's so... It's just so amazing. I absolutely love the tattoo. I went to Lightning Revival in um, Byron Center and I went to Dave, David Bell tattoo on Instagram. He's really amazing. And it was a birthday present from my best friend. She said, hey, for your birthday, I know you've really been wanting, you know, that tattoo in honor of your dad and I would like to get that for you. So that's what we did yesterday. And then um, after that, we basically just did like a little bit of shopping. Uh, not too much and then I just came home but I wanted to vlog the tattoo experience just because that's something exciting it's not me sitting on a on a couch just talking to a camera it's just something different but no I just for some reason like I was going to post it on Instagram and like I was going I was like two seconds away from hitting like the share button and then something inside me was just like don't post it so I just I didn't I just didn't want to post the tattoo for privacy reasons I just I want this tattoo to be mine and mine alone that is my reasoning for that i hope you guys can understand me and the dogs are just just chilling in here together just kind of taking a breather taking a break so yeah that's really all i wanted to cover in this part of the vlog i will probably talk to you guys in a little bit uh oh actually i did want to say something so I was doing Horror Pack unboxings for the longest time. Me and Horror Pack had like a six month deal where I would do a video and they would just send me movies every month for six months. So I was doing that and then, you know, everything with my dad happened, you know, he got really sick. So I just kind of stopped and never even emailed them again. And recently, yesterday actually, I went to my mailbox and I have a package from them. So I will definitely have to film another whore pack unboxing. I have not looked in this yet. I just, I took off the cardboard and threw the cardboard away because it's almost recycling day. So I just have this little thing, but I haven't looked inside. I have no idea what's in there. And I'm also need to film using this palette as we discussed. And then I found this cute headband from Dollar General. It's just like a little like, I don't know if you guys can like imagine. So that's kind of what the headband would look like. I just have that sitting there. Yeah, that's kind of a good news kind of thing is there will be another horror pack unboxing for those of you who really liked those videos, but um, that's all I have for you guys right now. I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Thursday, September 6th. It is just after four, it is 4.03. Little Avril is eating her dinner. Jackal is still in the process of eating his. Uh, so I worked today. We had a really good day, really productive, and I came home and took a nap. Obviously, that's why I look a little, little oily right now. And I was laying in bed and I was like, gosh, what do I want to eat? I'm not really feeling taquitos. Like, I just don't feel like it. So I'm actually cooking dinner tonight. Dinner for one. <laughs> um, I am boiling some water because I am going to have some spaghetti. I'm also going to have some mashed potatoes with it. These are the, like the little instant mashed potatoes. You just boil some water, pour these in, stir it, and it's like the most delicious buttery mashed potatoes ever. So I'm going to have some of that. I know some of you are like, why on earth would you make mashed potatoes with spaghetti? I don't know, but it sounds good. That worked today and I was just like really, really craving spaghetti. So that's what we're going to have. And I even have my little dish thing ready so I can wash dishes immediately after because that's one of the reasons why I don't like to cook is I don't like the dishes. I find dishes to be just a pain in the ass. And Avril has finished her dinner and now it is playtime while mommy cooks dinner. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, that's so fun. So uh, yeah, I work uh, tomorrow and then I have Saturday and Sunday off. And I lost a ball off of my septum ring you guys see that right there so I'm gonna have to wait until I can see my piercer again to get a new septum ring so I'm gonna have to change this into a clicker tonight as well and I know there's like a little mark of something on my screen 
There we go, now you're clean. So I think my water is almost done boiling. I just put a little bit of salt and onion powder in there just to add a little extra flavor to the noodles. So I'm gonna wait for that to boil and then when that gets close to done, I'm gonna start on the potatoes and then I'm gonna watch myself a movie. Like as far as my septum, I have no idea how the heck this happened. I know it didn't happen at work because I was checking it at work yesterday and it was fine because especially when I'm at work, I'm really, really cautious about my piercings. I'm always making sure that they're all on there really tight. But when I got home from work, like maybe a half hour after I got home from work, it was gone and I don't know if it had just fallen out to the ground. I don't know if I swallowed it or I don't know if I accidentally inhaled it and it's up in my nasal passage somewhere. I don't know, but it's freaking me out and um, I feel fine. Like I'm not wheezing, I'm not coughing, I'm not having difficulties breathing or anything, but I'm just like, I'm a little sketched out, a little weird and I have to be super careful that it doesn't slide out and the piercing close up. So yeah, okay. I think I made too much. Oh, well, there she blows. I guess if I made too much, I have a lot of leftovers then. <laughs> here's dinner, and I will show you guys the after of what it looks like. And here's the sauce that I use. It's just the Regano traditional pasta sauce. Yeah, with my taters. Look, yeah. All right, guys, here is dinner. We have mashed potatoes with butter and pepper. We have spaghetti with sauce, a little bit of leftover quinoa that I had the other night, applesauce, and then of course, my Mountain Dew. And the movie that we are watching is American Sniper. Love this movie, great movie. For those of you looking at this saying, holy shit, that's a lot of food, I haven't eaten today. And I'm very, very hungry, and it's now 4.35. So I'm gonna enjoy this, I'm gonna enjoy this, I'm gonna enjoy that, and I'll see you guys later.